A lot of people are making the move to the cartridge system because a lot of people have moved to rotaries now and a lot of the rotaries and pins use the cartridge system over the old traditional needle that you would put in your tattoo machine. Now they make this tube and grip right here for people who want to use the cartridges but still want to use their coil machines. What you find is there's a little bit of an issue with these and you have to adjust your machine differently to get this to work correctly. If not you will have problems with this. I've been messing with this for a little while. So this thing has been a pain, but I am really stubborn and I'm not going to give up. And I'm going to figure out how to make this work. You can see this looks pretty much like this. And if I remove my tube and grip, you can see there is the same system here. You have a little plunger, your tube and grip, that goes together and then tightens up. Very much the same way we have a plunger, tube and grip that we can use on our coil machine. Here is the issue. Coil machines rely on their springs and the tuning of the machine, the setup of the machine and they are set up to work a certain way. A lot of the rotary machines you have give clips and things like that that you can adjust as you go and on a rotary machine you can adjust the speed by using the voltage but it will always hit the same if it does not have a give clip it always has that push. You can see this one does not have a give clip on it. It's going to push the same no matter what. With your coil machine, if you push on your armature bar nipple, it affects how your machine runs. And you can adjust your voltage to overcome that push right there on a rotary Increasing the voltage only increases the speed, but it always has the same amount of hit. On a coil machine, increasing the voltage will strengthen the hit, but it will not speed it up. I'm not going to go into too many details right now about machine tuning. You need to watch some of the other videos I have and start learning and understanding how to tune machines but the main thing to understand is on a coil machine if you turn up the voltage it will hit harder if you don't understand why people put their finger under the machine here the armature bar nipple is to see that the armature bar has enough force to push the needles into the skin and if it doesn't, you need to turn up the voltage. With a device like this, you might need to run a higher voltage than you usually do. And you need to figure out a system to where you have the least amount of resistance on your armature bar. You want the armature bar to push the plunger and push this needle down. So you have a little more resistance that you need to overcome so you need to turn up the voltage but how do you know how far to turn it up put the cartridge in the end of the tube here and give a little twist that's going to tighten that up and then I'm going to put it in my tube vise I'm going to put it in my tube vise and add the plunger. 
I'm going to attach the plunger to my armature bar nipple. And I'm going to tighten this up, but I'm not going to crank this down. I'm going to leave this a little loose so I can move my tube up or down to adjust how much needle is coming out. Now you're going to see a difference here. I have not added a rubber band. The rubber band applies more resistance right here by pulling this way and that will give you a little resistance on that armature bar nipple again. And that means you will need to crank up your voltage. So we remove that and then you can see the needles protruding out of the end of the tip here. We're going to adjust the tube so they just go far enough, just enough at the end of that tube to get the job done. Again, that's less resistance pushing this way without the rubber band that's less resistance pushing this way the least amount of resistance to get this to work. And now I'm going to run it and see how far my needles come out of the end of the tube while I put my finger under the armature bar nipple here. These needles are coming all the way out and that's not a good thing. So I'm going to loosen this up, let it go forward a little bit, tighten this up again. I'm going to turn down the voltage and I'm going to try it again. You can start with lower voltage and move your way up. That's a lot better system than starting high and moving down. Okay, I'm about 8 volts which is high enough for this machine to work. This with a normal setup. Again, we have a little more resistance that we have to overcome. So we need to add a little more voltage so that our armature bar has a little more oomph, a little more hit. So that our needles will go the correct distance into the skin. The needles will come out of the tube but as soon as I put my finger on that and run the machine, they stay in here. They don't come out. So let me turn the voltage up a little bit. Okay, now the needles, when I put my finger on the armature bar, come out, but they're only going about halfway. They're not coming out the full distance. It's hard to show this on camera, but you got to trust me that now, while the machine is running, while I have my finger right here, the needles are still coming out. They don't drop down into the tube. And the needles are coming out. They're coming out that far. I'm just saying. Maybe you like a lot of hand. But if you don't have enough hit on your machine, what happens is, as soon as you start tattooing, your needles stay in here. They do not come out of the end of the tip. And the way to check that is to put some resistance on your nipple with your finger, not your own nipples, the machine's nipples. Don't be a perv. Okay, so run in your machine, not enough hit, your needle drops back. So once it hits the skin, it's not going into the skin, it's not penetrating the skin. If you give it more hit while it's running, it comes out. You could have that much throw on it, but your needle will come back to this depth and go the correct depth. If you have a lot of resistance on this, your needle drops back. There's not enough on that coil machine to push it. With a rotary, it goes the same distance, so it goes out no matter what. It goes out that far. 
But with a coil, it drops back. Drops back in here and doesn't do the job. Put your finger on that nipple and turn up the voltage until you see the needle coming out with your finger on the nipple. I don't think a lot of you understand. You just see people trying to sell tattoo machines and they're going like this to show how hard it's hitting. You guys, some of you don't understand that what that is showing. That is showing that you can penetrate the skin. The pad of your finger is a tool just to check and see if this is hitting hard enough and continuing to go down. If you go like this, so turn your machine on and put your finger on there. If it stops, you do not have enough voltage. Even if it gets really weak, it's still running. This is a good machine, so it's still running, but that's not enough to puncture the skin. We need to tattoo. If I turn this down even more, I can stop it. See? In order to overcome the little extra resistance on this, it needs enough hit so that while the machine is running, the needles still come out. And while the needles are hitting the skin, it still comes out so that the needles will go into the skin and the ink will stay in the skin and come off the needles. You need to overcome that resistance. The way you do that is don't add a lot. Don't add extra resistance where you don't need it. So leave off the rubber bands and adjust this so it just comes out far enough. And then you will need to turn up your voltage until you can see with the pad of your thumb touching armature bar, those needles still coming out and that is how you get these to work with coil machines.